Hello guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to do a small mini project where I'll show you how you can use ingestion API to programmatically insert the data inside of data cloud from an external system or an external application. And the external application or the tool that we're going to use would be Postman. So through Postman, we are going to insert data into data cloud. Now you cannot directly insert data into the data lake objects. So what we're going to do is we are going to create some objects within the data cloud with the help of ingestion API. And then we will use those objects to insert the data, which will eventually go inside of the data lake object. Okay. I'll show you how it is done. So first thing is we will log into our Salesforce org and uh, under the setup, look for ingestion API. Okay. So here, in the quick find, we will look for ingestion API. So we'll go over to the ingestion API here. And uh, we will create a new ingestion API. So the connector name, I'll call this as test ingestion. That is what I'm going to use and uh, hit save. And the next thing it is asking us is to upload a schema. Okay. So it is saying upload a schema file in open API format to describe how data from your source is structured. Okay. So I have a YAML file, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that file. So we'll go over to the notes here and there is a YAML file called ingestion underscore YAML. I'll be adding this file under the resources section. So here, before we go ahead and do it, I'm going to cancel out. Let me show you what the YAML file consists of. So here I'm going to open with Visual Studio Code. So what we are going to define in this YAML file is the schema, the objects that we are trying to create. We are creating two objects. One object is called performance summary. The other one is called panel readings. Okay. And inside of these objects, we will be loading data. Now, very, very important point is the indentation. If the indentation is wrong, you're going to get an error. So make sure the file that you are uploading should have the same exact indentation. The type should be under performance summary properties should be kind of in parallel with the type. So you have to follow the indentation. So I'll be adding this file, make sure to use it. But before you upload it, make sure the indentation is intact. Okay. So under this performance summary object, we are creating three fields, panel ID, date time, and daily cuff. Okay. Panel ID is of the type string. Date time is also of the type string and uh, format is date uh, underscore time. Daily cuff is a field and the type is number. Okay. So this is one object information. And the second object that we are creating is of called panel re underscore readings and it has few fields and a total of about five fields. Panel ID is in the same field. It is of the type string. Date time is there. Voltage is there. Temperature is there and light intensity is there. So this is the YAML file, which basically what it does is it will create two objects inside of data cloud. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to our data cloud and we'll upload this YAML file. So ingestion underscore YAML. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And uh, you can see here objects and these are the fields. Okay. Similarly, if you go to panel readings, these are the fields that are available under this object. We're going to go ahead and hit save. If your indentation is not right, you are going to get an error when you're uploading this one. Okay. So what we have done is we just created two objects and these are the two objects through uh, that we will use to ingest data from Postman. So the next step is we will go over to data cloud and we will create a data stream. Okay. Because we need to bring this data, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on data stream and uh, we will go ahead and click new here it'll give us connected sources so automatically ingestion API since we already have that connection established. So it, it'll show you ingestion API here. So click on that and click on next. Okay. So these are the two objects that we are using to kind of select the ingestion API and which objects to use to create a new data stream. So we are selecting both of them. We're going to go ahead and click next here and objects to configure panel readings. So both of these 
are kind of engagement data, right? They don't tell you anything about any contact or account. So panel rating, the category is engagement. Primary key is uh, panel ID and event type field is date time. Similarly, we'll select performance summary. The category is again engagement. Primary key is panel ID and field is daytime field is this one and then hit next. So once you create this data stream behind the scene, two data lake objects will be created. One is called as this one uh, with performance summary. The other one would be panel readings and click on deploy. So now a new data stream you have created and using that data stream, you are basically in behind the scene, it created two data lake objects also ignore the one starting with the PR, but you can see here, this is created as well as the panel readings is created. Currently, this one has eight fields and panel readings has about 10 fields, but there is no data inside of these objects yet. Okay, inside of these data lake object, there is no data available. So what we're going to do here is if you want to see, you can go to data explorer and uh, you will see that none of the records, no records are available. So you can see none um, under performance as well as under the panel. Okay, so nothing is there. If you want to do a query, uh, use the query editor, you can use that also. So here we will query the performance summary uh, data lake object. So here we're gonna look for performance summary. So this one and we'll create a query and uh, we will include sorry, run the query and there are no records available. You can see here, none of the records are available. So far, what we have done is we created an ingestion API through which we define the schema of the objects means the objects under which we will be inserting the data. You cannot insert data directly into the data cloud or data stream, right? So you have to create some objects which will hold the data. And then we will we created a data stream in which we configured those objects and then day two data lake objects also got created. But none of them have any kind of data yet. So this is it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.